what's going on guys welcome back and today in this video we are going to start a new series about python scrapey framework so we are going to create our web scrapers we are going to create our web crawlers we are going to extract data from various famous websites out there and then create databases out of that data uh, we are going to store that data in sql databases we are going to store that data in excel sheets and csv files and so on this is going to be a very comprehensive course on web scraping and web crawling with Scrapey. So if you are interested in that, then this video series is definitely for you. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So this is the introductory video to Scrapey. In this video, I'll show you how to uh, create a virtual environment, then install Scrapey in that virtual environment. And then we are also going to see how to create your very first Scrapey project. So right now, as you can see, I'm on the official website of Scrapey. It's called Scrapey.org and you can read a bit about it an open source and collaborative framework for extracting the data you need for websites in a fast simple yet extensible way so scrapey is a framework if you want to extract data from various websites on web uh, if you want to create web scrapers and web crawlers then this library is definitely for you so we now know what Scrapey is and for what purpose we are going to use it. Now, in order to get started with this, we need to first install it. So I will go to Visual Studio Code. So I have opened up Visual Studio Code. And as you can see, I have also opened up a terminal window. And in here, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a virtual environment. So if you don't know what a virtual environment is, uh, it's a way of separating your project from the rest of your Python installation. So if you are creating a project and you don't want its dependencies and its packages to interfere with your main Python installation, then you can separate your project's dependencies uh, in a separate environment. So you create a new environment where you install all the packages and dependencies for that specific project that you are working on and you keep them there so it doesn't interfere with your main python packages and everything so yeah it's a uh, really cool way to organize and maintain your projects in python so in this video i'll show you how to use python's inbuilt venv to create a virtual environment and it's actually pretty simple all you have to do is you have to type in this uh, command which is python dash m v e n v and then the name of your virtual environment so we are going to name our virtual environment let's say scrapey scrapey course actually just like this hit enter so you can see as soon as i hit enter i ran this command a uh, directory was created in my current working folder so if i open it up you can see it has some subdirectories and there are some files as well so this is actually a virtual environment that was created for us you can also see it has a separate python.exe file and also pip3.exe yeah so it's a totally separate environment for us so now that we have our virtual environment created we need to activate it and it's pretty simple to activate it if i open this uh, environment you can see we have this scripts folder in here we have this activate.bat file if you're on command line you can use this one if you're on powershell you can use this one activate.ps1 or you uh yeah yeah these are the two so i'm on windows and as you can see i'm running a cmd command line so i'll say scrapey course then slash scripts and i need to run the activate command so hit enter you can see now this scrapey course in parentheses is being appended to this thing so this means that our uh, virtual environment is up and running let me show you this is actually a virtual environment so if i say pip list pip list gives me actually all the installed packages on my python installation so if i hit enter you can see right now we only have two packages that's because we are running a virtual environment we are not in our uh, global python installation so if i show you all the packages in my global so let me open up a command window a different command window and in here i am not in any virtual environment i'm simply in a global scope so if i say pip list hit enter you can see i get a lot of these packages in here so this is what is in my global scope so now if we try to install scrapey 
let's go back to Scrapey's website. You can see we have this pip install Scrapey command. Let's just copy it and try to install it in our virtual environment. So I'll paste it down there, hit enter. Now it will collect all the uh, packages and everything and then it will start installing them. So as you can see, the installation is done. Now if I say pip list, you can see now we have all of these packages. So they were uh, installed along with the scrapey. So now you can see what's the difference between virtual environment and along the way we also installed Scrapey as well. But one thing I want to mention here is that I'm using Python 3.10 on Windows. Uh, if you are using Python 3.11 on Windows, you might face some issues. Uh, if you do, then it's better to work with Python 3.10. And if you got, get any unexpected errors like LXML errors, do, do comment down below. I'll uh, show you how to fix all of those as well. So yeah, keep those things in mind. Also, if you want to deactivate your uh, virtual environment, what you have to do is you have to write the same structure of the command, uh, just like this, scrapey course slash scripts, but instead of saying activate, we will say deactivate. Hit enter. You can see now this thing that was appended, the scrapey course was getting appended to this thing. It's now no more getting appended. Uh, it's giving us an indication that uh, the virtual environment is not activated anymore. So now we have uh, install Scrapey, we have created the virtual environment and right now currently working in the virtual environment. Now let's try to create a Scrapey project. So if I go to Scrapey again, the website, go to documentation and go to Scrapey tutorial. Here you will see creating a project section and in here they give us a command to create a new Scrapey project. So I'm going to copy that, go back here and paste it there. So what it's actually doing is we are saying Scrapey start a project and then we are giving the name to that project. Let's give it something else. Let's say uh, Code Bear. Code Bear, yeah. We want to name our project Code Bear. Hit enter. You can see a directory named Code Bear was created. This is actually our Scrapey project. So if I open it up, you can see we have a lot of things here like middlewares, pi pipeline, settings, items, uh, directory named uh, spiders, and we have init. So all of these things, yeah. Uh, we are going to go through all of them one by one in the next video. Uh, you, They are pretty much simple, all of them. Once you go through them, uh, understand them, then uh, they are pretty much simple. So yeah, nothing to worry about there. Uh, I'll explain to you in the next video all of these things that you are seeing right now on your screen like the middle wheels, pipelines settings and everything so yeah this is it for this video i'll see you in the next one till then peace out